guys welcome back to my channel happy new year uh, i'm really sorry it's been the longest time since i've done a video um i posted something on my instagram saying if anybody can give me tips on how to balance work and life then i'd be really really grateful because um i didn't seem to be able to manage being a doctor and actually being a human being and living life uh, but yeah, um, I found some time to make a video, so um, I'm just going to, you know, impart some knowledge again today. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, then you know that I talk about med school and how to get into medical school. And today's video is continuing on that theme, so I'm going to be talking about how I personally got into medical school. So uh, the previous videos that I've done have been sort of generic um, tips on how to get into medical school, but today um, I thought it would be interesting and some people have asked me um, a ton of questions uh, relating to my own sort of experiences of applying to medical school, so I thought I'd just answer those questions uh, in one video and hopefully um, you guys like it. So if you're interested in finding out how I got into medical school, then please keep watching. So I'll start with um, the motivation for, go for, uh, for applying to medical school. Uh, my family tell me that from a very, very young age, I wanted to do medicine, I wanted to be a doctor, but obviously I don't remember any of this. Um, my sort of first memory of wanting to do medicine and wanting to be a doctor was when I think I was 10 or 11. Um, my family suffered a really sort of bad tragedy when I was that age and um, at that point I thought I don't want anybody else, um, any other child in the world to experience what we experienced and so um, I think that was the biggest motivation for me to uh, apply to medical school but obviously I was 10 or 11 and um, I also wanted to be other things um, like a princess and a president and a pilot. It was always, um, you know, things that begin with P, I don't know why, but um, I still want to be a pilot and um, I'm working on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that tragedy when I was 10 or 11 was um, sort of the biggest motivation um, that, kick, that kick started my um, want to become a doctor. When I was 15, um, I was one of a few students that was chosen to go into a summer school program and I've spoken about this in a previous video but um, I went to something called Discover at St George's which was a medical school sort of experience for 15 and 16 year olds um, at St George's University in London and um, we got the chance over a period of about one or two weeks to experience what it's like to be a doctor not, not to be a doctor actually to experience what it's, like, what it's like to be a medical student so we went to lectures we saw patients we did practice exam practice examinations and things like that and it was the most fun i'd had obviously by that time and so i think that was another thing that kick-started my motivation to want to do medicine. So I think those were the two motivations in my life that want, that made me want to do medicine. Uh, so the two biggest motivations in my life that, wanted, that made me want to do medicine. Um, I obviously had um, an interest in science and I liked the human body and I liked biology and all that blah 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 but um, in terms of life experiences those were the things that made me want to be a doctor and um, that coupled with um, other sort of minor things um, over the years made me want to do medicine and made me want to be a doctor. Okay, let's talk about my grades. So this is a very sort of a highly asked question about what grades I got at GCSE and what grades I got at um, A level. So for GCSE, I did um, generic subjects. I went to um, a normal school and um, I did, you know, the general things: uh, double award science, geography, childcare and development, uh, math, statistics. Um, ICT and um, some other things. Um, I'll put them somewhere on this um, sort of video if I remember them when I'm editing. But yeah, these were the subjects that I did and I got eight A stars and two A's. And um, I think those were a good set of grades. Um, I was very annoyed about the two A's. It would have been nice to get the 10 A stars, but hey, what can you do? <laughs> Um, after that, I went to a grammar school to do my A levels, and I um, we had to do five A AS levels and four A two levels. So my AS levels were in biology, chemistry, psychology, maths, and general studies, and then my A two levels were in biology, chemistry, psychology, 
and maths. Uh, so I've dropped the general studies because as I've, as I've said in a previous video, um, there's no point doing it because it doesn't count for anything. Um, I also did an advanced extension award in uh, psychology, which uh, was really good. I really liked psychology and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to do sort of something extra. So um, yeah, so because of the fact that we had to do four A-levels, um, my offer for med school was for four A-levels, but obviously everybody else does three and their offer is based on three. It doesn't matter that I did four. Um, you know my offer was specific to me because i had four and somebody who has threes offer will be specific to them because they have three but my my grades were three a's and a b and i got a distinction in my um advanced extension award at the time that i did my a levels there was no grade a star so the maximum that i could have gotten is an a and yeah I got my my I got my grades and um, I didn't go to medical school after A levels. I chose to do a gap year, but those were the grades that I got. Um, obviously, the B was in maths because I'm I'm just not that good at maths. <laughs> but I really like maths and um, yeah, it, it annoys me slightly that I had a B in maths. But hey, maybe at some point I can go and redo my A two level and get an A in maths. But that's just yeah, that that that's stupid. Okay, let's talk about my work experience. So um, at the age of, I don't know, 13, when I was in year nine, um, my school, we had to do um, work experience. Everybody had to do work experience. And I chose to do my work experience in a nursing, sort of nursing, in a children's nursery. And um, yeah, it was, it was a cool, I think two weeks or a month or something. And yeah, I just went in every day and um, helped look after the kiddies and, um, games with them prepare their food and stuff like that which was really cool because at the time I wanted to be a pediatrician so all of this was feeding my motivation to become a pediatrician but obviously that changed um yeah I did pediatrics in medical school and I thought mm, this is not for me so yeah <laughs> uh, nothing's different but yeah uh, that, that was my first work experience after that um I went to uh, my local hospital so I applied using the same generic thing that I've said before in my previous video I looked on the website um, had a look and um, had a look and applied via email or something or I think it was even writing a letter to somebody at the time but yeah um, I applied to do work experience in my local hospital and I was attached to a general physician who was also a geriatrician so I followed him um, sort of shadowing over a period of I don't know, one week or two weeks or something and um, yeah watched how he how he worked how he looked after um the geriatric population the elderly population and yeah it was really cool um i got to meet loads of other people who were doctors at the time and um got some tips on um med school how to survive med school and stuff and so yeah that was my work experience in a hospital after that i did uh, work experience through my sixth form so um i used to go and volunteer in a disabled children's home um, every Thursday every week for I know two years or something and yeah it, it was really it was really cool um, I hadn't um, sort of interacted with disabled children or with disabled anybody before and so it was a really nice experience to see how they're taken care of how their medical needs are met uh, and stuff like that and it was really I, I found it really interesting and it was nice to do over a long period of time because I formed a relationship with the residents with the children and yeah it, it, it was fine Next, I volunteered in a British Heart Foundation shop. Uh, it was a retail shop and um, basically um, I was just a cashier or something like that, sorting through donations. Um, and yeah, again, I did that over a period of two years from the start of year 12 to the end of year 13. And it was it was a really good experience. Um, lots of fun in the morning. Got to um, meet loads of people and I actually did it with one of my friends. So we would... Um, you know, it was really fun um, to do together with somebody else. Other sort of extracurricular stuff. So I was a prefect from the age of, I don't know, 11 or something, uh, from year six till the end of my education. I was a prefect in some form or the other. Um, I was a school prefect. I was a fashion show prefect. I was an induction prefect. I was all kinds of prefects. But yeah, I was a prefect from primary school I think to the end of secondary school 
Um, I also did sports, so I was on the tennis team and I was on the swimming school team when I was, um, I can't remember, when I was a teenager or something. Um, I also sang in the choir and we used to go to loads of really awesome places to sing and um, yeah, it was really fun. So as I've said before, I applied to med school after I gap year. So during my gap year, I did a whole other, um, you know, a whole ton of other things to um, enhance my application. So I worked in a nursing home initially as a healthcare assistant. And then after that, I worked in a private hospital again as a, as a healthcare assistant. And it was really cool because the nursing home was um, for dementia and mental health sort of problems, whereas the private hospitals specialized in cosmetic surgery, boob jobs, um, orthopedic surgery, design of vaginas, <laughs> all that, uh, which was really cool. Again, it was a nice sort of contrast to my experiences. And um, yeah, that was um, something I did during my gap year. I also did some traveling, which was again, a nice break from doing everything med school related. But yeah, um, that's it. That's all I did in my preparation to become a doctor. And here I am now talking to you guys six months into the job and it's really, really, really cool. It's the best job um, ever, obviously, in life and I've picked that and I'm really happy and really lucky to be doing it. I'm um, currently doing cardiology, which is um, really awesome. Um, I'm also doing um, sort of me general medicine on call, so we cover um, respiratory as well as renal, as well as um, all other things and um, yeah, it's really fun. So. That's about it guys, thanks very much for watching this video, um, hopefully I've answered all your questions and things and um, if you have any other questions or if you have any sort of suggestions for videos you want me to do then please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, bear with me while I get my work life balance right, um, again if you have any suggestions as to what I can do to balance being a doctor and balance everything else in life then I'd really really appreciate um, sort of finding out what you guys do. Um, thank you to all of you that have subscribed as I keep saying literally it makes my day when I see somebody else is subscribed to my channel or somebody has commented on my channel or somebody has actually found a video that I've done useful um, yeah it really makes my day and it's so much fun to make these videos I really enjoy it and I'm glad that um, some people are benefiting from it so yeah thanks a lot guys and I will see you on my next video <laughs>